Hello everyone. So today we're going to, we've removed the uh, Sayat badge and the R badge from the front. Uh, it took forever to get off um, and we ended up breaking a little bit of plastic. But what we're going to do is we have some blue carbon, but well, we have a lot of blue carbon, but I don't think it's going to suit the car. So we're going to go ahead with black carbon. So we'll do sort of like a time lapse of it. First thing we've done is because it's on the exterior, I've just washed it wait, with fairy liquid. Because we're going to use the rubbing alcohol anyway, um, if we just pick it up with this, just in case, just place it on just to measure up. Uh, Swati's got hobby craft stuff, so obviously like the mat, the scalpel thingy, so she's better with all this. First things first, you want to clean it with rubbing alcohol. Uh, this will get rid of any fingerprints, grease, all that sort of stuff. This one, the R, will be relatively easy to do because obviously we're not wrapping the plastic, we can hold the plastic and maneuver it and stuff like that. Um, the say it badge will be slightly harder. And whilst Whitey cleans it, I'm just going to grab the heat gun because my dad's got one. So, the best way to hold on to the SEAT badge is actually the hooks um, that, well, the ripples that actually form the S shape at the back. I'm gonna seat this badge on top of the microfiber cloth because then that allows me to just pick up the cloth rather than get my fingerprints on there because it is clean already. I'm gonna take the backing off. So you, you pull it and you sort of stretch the material. <laughs> and if you create a crease, just pull it back, stretch it, and then push it over so you get it like that. See, there's a crease there because it's still warm. You take it up a little bit, pull it, stretch it, and go. Pull it, stretch it, go. Should have a nice ish finish. I know it's not perfect. Rather than doing it that way, because you could catch the material and cut it, you could do it this way. If you're, if you're doing it like that rather than like that. down the middle of it. Not all the way just yet. How long is the, the gap? Don't go all the way. Okay, and then what you want to do is just pop your finger through and just start folding it in. And if it's a bit um, hard, make it cut a bit longer and just heat it up again. Because that way you're covering the inner parts. You don't want to badge with the front of um, the front of the R all in carbon, and then when you look at certain angles, you just have bits of chrome. So this way you can do the inside parts. So just take it off bit by bit. You don't want to cut too much because then you have to redo it if you want a good finish. So you can see there's a bit of a chrome trim. So just leave a little bit extra just so you can fold it back up and cover that. The whole point of uh, doing this was so we don't have chrome on the front. Give here a rounded finish, just literally light cut and then a push. So I've just measured a piece, there's um, enough to go around and sort of tuck in on the back if we need to. Um, so I've just cut a piece out and we're going to start. So I'll probably set up my phone that we're using now and just put it back so you can see both of us. sort of showing the indentations a little bit so when you heat it up the, pla the wrap should naturally fall in sink in a little bit so it should hopefully show all right 
I'm very happy with how these came out. That. That. We'll see how it looks on the car. We might cut out the flag bits. We'll see. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and uh, let us know if you want any more videos like this. Um, we're trying new stuff, DIY. Uh, it's always good to see fails anyway, so everyone laughs at fails. All right, people, so we've got the R in fine. That went in perfectly. The S is just not sitting in properly. I ended up breaking a plastic clip here. As you can see, it's chipped off, and one here. So, it's not seated in properly, see? So on the rear side, oh, I guess on here you see there's one really long side and then a short side. So this is the way it's supposed to sit. And you'll notice, look, it just sort of slots in most of the way, yeah? And it's nearly in place. What they did is they had it this way around and doing it this way around, look, it's nowhere near. Can't stick it top first, you can't, and what I was trying to do, because I thought that was the right way and it was meant to be this hard, I was trying to push this through, trying to push it like that and then twi twist it up, but that's not the way, and that's how I managed to break these two clips. Anyway, you just put it in the other way around and it's nearly there. Um, I've been trying for a few minutes just to push it in, but I think because of the wrap, it's catching like there, there, here, so it's not going all the way. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this off because it was our first go and you can see I messed it up anyway like up here um, Round here when I was trying to put it on the wrong way. We're going to pop this in um, How it should be and then we're going to wrap it on here So we're going to just lay the sheet of wrap on top heat it push it in whatever get a card And I think that should be a lot easier that way in it